Congrats, you've made it to the best Christmas movie of all time, Elf. And that means you're no cotton headed ninny muggins. Welcome to the best Christmas movies of all time, where I discuss my favorite Christmas classics, new and old. This week, I'm talking about Elf. And because of that, I'm drinking Buddy the Elf's cotton headed ninny muggins martini. I know, that's a tongue twister. I'll link to that video so you can make the recipe yourself and enjoy it the next time you watch Elf. I am so excited to talk about this movie. It is my favorite Christmas movie and what I deem the best Christmas movie of all time. Will Ferrell plays Buddy the Elf. Now this movie came out in 2003, which seems like a lifetime ago, but this movie seems like it was made yesterday. In my opinion, this comedy is one of Will Ferrell's best movies of all time. And I'm not just talking Christmas movies, I'm talking best comedies of all time. I think the comedic humor holds up and I think this is Will Ferrell at his best. Just being silly and acting dumb and acting like such a great character. This is also just such a superb cast. You've James Caan as Walter Hobbs, who is Buddy the Elf's dad, Ed Asner as Santa Claus, Bob Newhart as Papa Elf, who is just so funny at the beginning of this movie and his narration. And then you even have Peter Dinklage who makes an appearance as the angry elf, who wasn't really a well-known actor back then, but of course now we know him as Tyrion from Game of Thrones. If you haven't seen this movie, don't know what it's about, then you need to get on it. Buddy the Elf is a human who is taken to the North Pole as a child and is raised as an elf, uh, which is funny enough in itself. But as he gets older, he realizes that he wants to meet his real family, his real parents, and his dad, who's in New York City of all places. So he travels to New York from the North Pole and meets him. And as you'd imagine, anybody who is an elf their whole life can't fit into New York. He runs around trying to find the best coffee and eating candy off the sidewalk and just all these Christmas shenanigans. <laughs> and it just, it just makes me laugh thinking about this because of how funny this movie is. All of these scenes are great, but one of my favorite is, like I mentioned, the best coffee in New York. He runs into a coffee joint that's it, that claims they're the best coffee in New York and says, You did it! Congratulations! World's best cup of coffee! One other scene that makes me laugh a lot, but it's not actually meant to be funny, is whenever Walter Hobbs' wife starts singing at the end of the movie, because the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. And she's just such a bad singer, but it makes me laugh every time. Do you notice this every time that she sings or is it just me? John Favreau directed this movie in 2003 and he's actually one of my favorite directors in the recent years. He's directed Iron Man and Chef uh, among many other movies. But I wonder, you know, does this movie hold up to the test of time? And I think that's one of the biggest qualifications for the best Christmas movie of all time. And I really think it does hold up the test of time. The comedy is there, the acting is there, the graphics, well, there really aren't many graphics, but those are there too. All around, it's just a solid movie. It doesn't make any references that date it. And I think that's what makes it a modern day holiday classic and what many people will be watching holiday seasons for years to come. I know I will absolutely be watching it. So I think Elf is the best Christmas movie of all time. For those of you who stuck around, I really appreciate you watching my top Christmas movies of all time. It really means a lot that you watch this video and I want to wish you a very Merry Christmas. If you're interested in more videos like this, I suggest that you subscribe and I'd really appreciate if you hit the like button or commented your favorite Christmas movie list. Uh, I'm just interested in engaging with you and talking movies. Thanks and have a very Merry Christmas. Cheers.